Hello, I am Niveta and I am going to do a tutorial on how to program Arduino Uno using pure C without using any of the predefined functions that people commonly use. So Arduino Uno is basically an AVIA microcontroller at Meha 328P. And uh, for this tutorial, I am using Tinkercad. Uh, the reason that I am using this is, uh, it is uh, simply a simulation and so uh, we do not require any components and it could be uh, we could explore things without any fear. Usually when people program with Arduino you know they use uh, Arduino C which consists of functions like pin mode, digital write, digital read. It makes uh, programming of Arduino uh, a lot easier but uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to program the microcontroller without using any of these functions. Uh, I've got to learn it and I have a little experience on AVIA microcontrollers since I've done my final year project on Atmeha 16 microcontroller. So I thought as I learn, I'll also make tutorials which could help others. So in this, uh, uh, we are going to start with a Blink LED program. So LED could be connected in two modes, either in the sync mode or in the source mode. In source mode, in sync mode, uh, the anode is connected to the supply and cathode is connected to the port pin. And in source mode, the anode is connected to the port pin and cathode is connected to the ground. I always prefer sync mode and I've done the program with sync mode. And here uh, I've used a 330 ohm resistor. And uh, when the port pin is uh, set to high state, then here also 5 volt is also high. Here also it will be high and there would be no potential difference across the circuit. When it is set to low, then there is a potential difference across the circuit. As this is high and here it is low, so the LED will glow. So in this circuit, I have connected the cathode to digital pin 2. Since we are not using Arduino C and we are using pure C, we should find the pin mapping. So that digital pin 2 in Arduino Uno board is PD2 of Atmeha 328 microcontroller. So PD2 is port D pin 2. So first we should assign the value to a direction register saying which pins are the inputs and which pins are the output. For that port D has 8 pins which is pin 0 to pin 7. So I have written it and 0 uh, when a pin uh, is assigned 0 then it means it is an input pin and if it is 1 it's output pin. So I am going to uh, use pin 2 as output since I am connecting the LED to that. So I have made all the other pins as input pin. So the hexadecimal configuration is 0x04. Uh, so DDRD which is the direction register must be assigned with this 0x04. Then pin 2 will become an output pin. To assign low or high states, we must assign values to port D and not direction register. So port D equal to 0x00. Here I am making all the 8 pins of port D to low state. And here I am uh, assigning all pins to low state except pin 2. So the hexadecimal configuration is the same as above. So that is what I am using in the program here. So avr slash io dot h is the header file for uh, all avr microcontrollers. And uh, fcpu here, uh, this value is the crystal, free, crystal oscillator frequency. So if you have an Arduino board and if you look at the crystal, uh, crystal oscillator, the frequency written on top of it would be 16 megahertz. And we must include a ul and util slash delay dot h is for the delay function. So the first is, uh, so the first step of the program is assigning which pin is input and which pin is output. So this ddrd equal to 0x04 assigns pin port d pin 2 and alone as output. So it is similar to the pin mode function in Arduino C. And uh, then there is a while loop, uh, kind of infinite while loop so that it keeps on blinking continuously. So port D equal to 0x00. It means that all pins of port D are given a low state. Then port D equal to 0x04 which means all except pin 2 
are given low state and pin 2 is initialized to high state. This is similar to digital write. And the delay function is given delay slash ms which is millisecond and in the bracket I have passed a value of 1000 which means it is 1000 millisecond and 1 second delay. So if we do not include the delay function uh, it will blink very fast and we won't be able to observe the blinking with our uh, eyes. So we are including a delay function. Now if I upload and run we will be able to see the blinking of the LED. So this is one method of programming but uh, if you don't want to uh, write down the pins and assign it to 0 or 1 if you want to avoid all those then you can use this syntax ddrt or equal to 1 left shift pd2 and uh, this is for uh, assigning if the pin is an input pin or output pin and if you want to give a low or high state to the pin you can use this for the low state and for the high state you need to change this AND to R and this NOT symbol should be avoided. Now I have done that program too. So this syntax is for initializing a pin as an input pin as an output pin and uh, the same uh, 4D and this syntax is for assigning the pin as low to low state and this pin assigns the pin to high state and the delay uh, syntax are all the same now if i upload and thi run this program even then the led will blink like the previous program so i've done this in in sync mode if you want to do you can try it in source mode also the program is the same and you can see the output and uh, Further, uh, if I am uploading any more tutorials, I will upload it in this method since I don't want to write it down and convert it into hexadecimal. If you need further explanations on how we arrive at these expressions, then I'd suggest that you see my video on reading from or writing to individual pins of AVR microcontroller. I think I am comfortable with this method and I would be uploading it in this method. And if you have any doubts, you can leave it in the comments. Thank you.